The views and opinions expressed in this podcast by the host and or the guest do not necessarily reflect the views of the host and or Paranormal Buzz Radio and or its sponsors. Use of any material produced by Paranormal Buzz Radio without express written consent is prohibited. Paranormal Buzz Radio will not be held responsible for you holding your knees, crying and rocking in a corner in a puddle of your own urine, or being beheaded by a group of children in a cornfield. In fact, if you come across a group of children in a cornfield, we promise to make fun of you as you run away screaming in terror. Listener discretion is advised. You are now entering the all-consuming realm of Shay's Paranormal Chat, where the things that are better left unsaid are actually said. Shut up and sit down. You're listening to Shay's Paranormal Chat. Paranormal podcasting done Shay's way. Tons of fun. Dude, seriously? A bit sarcastic. Hashtag investigator, not hunter. But always real. Hashtag data, not evidence. Don't get your panties in a twist. Oh my god, really? This is real, raw conversation. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. Hello, everybody. Good evening. TGIF, as always. Um, I first want to say, my guest tonight, Holly Mullins from the Southern Gypsies, is still not feeling well, so... um, it's just going to be me. So if you're listening, I truly appreciate it. I hope um, Holly feels better real soon. I also know I have not been feeling well, but she's a couple days ahead of me, so she's really feeling a hell of a lot worse than me. So this is going to be um, probably a quick show because I see Matt is in chat and I have no guests, so nobody really wants to hear my opinion too much. Fred, who's this? Who who this? Wrong number. Thank you, Fred, for joining us. Um, and hi, guys and gals. I like that, Fred. Thank you. Um, this is very odd for me. I have no buffers, nobody to stop me from running my mouth. So this is going to be pretty weird. Um, so. Let's see. I'm not really even sure where to start. I have a few ideas. Um, So I want to start off with, I have some great guests coming up. Um, Holly will be rescheduled for a later date. I am booked through March. Um, (coughs) Excuse me. So, um, but we will get her on here. Even if it has to be pre-recorded, Holly will be back. Um... We have Reiki with Rhonda coming up. We have a special pre-recorded show with some special guests coming up. Uh, Rebecca Williamson will be back with Ghost Hunting 101. We are doing a show on vampires. We are doing... um, uh, David Glidden will be on. Uh, Denise Pridemore will be on. So we have a full lineup coming up. (coughs) Hi, Stephanie. Thank you for joining us. Um... So, there's a lot of controversy right now, and I want to start off with that, so I will not be in chat for a second. Hi, Mama. Um, My mother is in the house. But, um, if you know me, you know that my emotions and my mouth get in the way of sometimes what I want to say and the point I want to get across. So, this time I actually wrote out a statement, um... And it's surrounding Madison Smith, and I talked to David, and um, so David knows I'm going to do this. And um, if anybody doesn't know, there's a lot of stuff going on with cyberbullying, and um, this is my statement. I didn't make a big deal on Facebook, and I will not. Um, So here's my statement. 
Here is my statement surrounding the Madison Smith controversy. First and foremost, Maddie is a host on this network, so obviously I fully support her. When it comes to the paranormal, I feel each individual should be looked at separately, no matter their age, and so on. I know many adults in this field that should not be in the field. And it's not because of their age, but because of who they are. Everyone has their own opinions, and that's okay. Everybody should have their own opinions. But what is not okay is sharing a minor's name and picture with negative comments looking for a call of action. This is bullying, period. If you were so concerned about a minor's well-being, you would never, ever share their name and or image like this. No amount of attention you will ever get for this act will make it okay. Um, and I think that pretty much sums it up. So, again, my emotions and my mouth get in the way, so I hope everybody understands what I'm trying to say there. Um, Madison, Madison, I, I don't even want to say is a great kid. Madison's a great person. Um, and the negative comments are not okay. The negative comments about um, her parents are not okay. Who are we to judge what other people let their kids do? It's your opinion, that's fine, but when you go as far as sharing their image, calling them out by name when you know your whole point is is she's a kid and you're using her name and picture to benefit yourself that's not okay so I don't appreciate it and neither did other people and hopefully hopefully the feedback will keep being negative and not positive um, and I just got a message from Darren sorry I'll be in chat in a minute no problem Darren we're waiting for you. So, um, that that sums up my opinion. Um, David's a good father. He's always there with her. He's there on location with her. And Madison is surrounded by people that know what they are doing. It's not like she's in these locations alone and doesn't have a clue. She's been taught for a while now and has a good idea of what to do just as much as any of us because, again, this is all theory. So... Um, I support her, and that's all that matters. If um, you guys have any questions in chat, start putting them in. I'm going to give out some shout-outs. Of course, I said hello to Matt. We have Fred. We have Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. We're trying to get better. Um, Mama Deb's in there. I is in there. And I've, I see a few other people that have liked it. Um, but I don't know their names because I can just see their pictures but anyways if you're here listening to me thank you very much yeah my mother's been sick I've been sick my mom's doing a little better so I'm happy to hear that yes Matt they it's it's a great family they're very supportive um, and what better way to support your child than to get involved in it and be there every step of the way. So kudos, David. Um, if anybody doesn't know who we're talking about, we're talking about Madison Smith, 12-year-old paranormal tween investigator um, and a host of Spoopy Talk right here on this network. So she deserves props because she is a very hard worker. 12 year olds a 12 year old or not she's a hard worker so let's see so um, other than that I have nothing really planned other than um, to talk about me and get some questions if anybody has any about me if you don't have questions about me don't want to hear me run my mouth it will be a very short show and that's okay with me too um, I get tired of listening to myself talk sometimes so I get it but um I'm a co-owner here on Paranormal Buzz Radio. Been podcasting for at least four years now. Um, this network's a little over a year old. Pa I've been paranormal investigating for about five years. I'm a part of Cis Paranormal that my sister and I co-founded. So that's pretty much sums me up.
Let's see. What else do we have to talk about? I really don't want to dwell on bad things. I want to talk about good things. So, um, I've been editing video and doing review on the Cabin on 360 that we did in November. It's a joint adventure between Paranormal Buzz and Cis Paranormal. Um, my sister Nicole George was there. Matt Waddell. My mother Deborah Banks was there. Um, so, and I already have one video done. I have a blooper done, and I'm starting to get some of the review done. It was quite an interesting weekend. We were there for the whole weekend, so it was pretty fun. Except for Matt, who had to sleep there and got yelled at and screamed at by spirits and got scared to death and didn't want to stay there, but I think he ended up sleeping in his car. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say that on air, but, you know. <coughs> And I don't see anything in chat, so give him 15 seconds. He'll probably bitch at me. Um, so weird. I don't have anybody else to talk to. I don't have headphones in. It's kind of good. I can just, like... Yeah, see, he called me an asset. I can just, like, keep talking, and nobody can stop me. Nobody can shut me up. It's kind of cool. Kind of scary, too, but, you know, hey. Um, let's see. So, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to go over. Um, I got my first blooper done on uh, the Cabin 360. Um, I got the audio cut down and just got to put it into video format, and that should be interesting, and I hope you guys like it. Hopefully I'll get that out tomorrow. That's my plan. So I've been editing shows all week and such. So, And I'm hoping within the next couple months I'll get back out there and do some more paranormal investigating. That's the plan. I know I'm an ass hat, Matt. I can't help it. At least I was smart enough to know I wasn't sleeping at the haunted cabin. You know, like, there's certain things I'll do and certain things I won't, and I'm not going to sleep in a haunted cabin. Well, I, did, I, I didn't want to sleep on the floor. You know, that's, that's the difference. I have a bad back, so. But, you know, so I'm hoping that um, we get more stuff out there, and I hope Ryan and such likes what we put out, you know. It's all fun and games until somebody yells, get the hell out when you're trying to sleep, huh, Matt? And I have some questions here that I got sent, and hold on, I'm going to go through. Um, let's write them down, and Darren will be joining us soon, but I do have some. Uh, paranormal TV. Everybody knows how I feel about paranormal TV. So, number one, I don't have enough time to watch it. Number two. Oh, awesome. Hold on, I'll go back to my thought. Um, Matt Modell, co-owner of Paranormal Buzz, will be on Ryan's show um, March 2nd. We will be sure to share that on the Paranormal Buzz radio feed. Um, and uh, good luck, Ryan. That's all I have to say. He, yeah, see, he can't, he can't even yell at me. He can't even... I, I can hear his voice in my head right now. Matt, that is. Um, uh, now I forget where it's going with that. I can't wait. Uh, oh, but Ryan shows on a day that I'm busy. Matt, what day is Ryan's show on? Yeah, the freaking awesome show, but what, what day is it on? Um... Is there, there's a reason I always miss it, because I think I'm doing a show at the same time. <coughs> I'm not really sure. Mondays. Okay, that's why. Because Mondays we have shows. Um, hey, Darren. Thanks for joining us. Um, Mondays we have show Right now we have every other Monday. Um, and then every fifth Monday, I plan to go to Trivia with Nicole and my mother. So 
um, you know, family outings. Uh, I don't even know what time it's on. The no, we have Monday. Sorry, seeking the paranormal, and no, every every other Monday we both we have shows, so it's every fifth Monday. I'm sorry, guys. We just updated the schedule, so now Mondays is um the Dr. Gina show, 9 p.m. every other weekend Eastern, 9 p.m. Eastern, and then the um opposite weekend, the opposite weeks will be seeking the paranormal with uh, Sarah, Adam, and John. So. Yeah, 8.30 Eastern. So we, we, we might be able to get in there half hour before, but I, I'm usually already on the phone by then. So, um, I, and I forget where it was. Oh, Paranormal TV. Yeah, we all know. I don't even get the Travel Channel. I'm not paying an extra $200 for the Travel Channel that I never have time to watch. So that's how much it would cost me to add the, the Travel Channel. So... Anybody in chat have any questions yet? Is that what it is, Maddie? Just change the times. I just saw um, a post that, um, yeah, new time. Just a little while, um, not even an hour ago, I saw new new time changes and stuff. So maybe that could have been a different network. I'm not really sure actually now. I should really think before I talk, but it's never fun that way. Oh, Darren had a question, but he's retyping it because something went wrong. Um, so I'll wait for him. I'm just going to babble. It's nothing different. There's just nobody interrupting my babbling tonight. This will probably be the lowest rated show on Paranormal Buzz, but that's okay. The latest news on Cis Paranormal. Um... Nicole's off doing her her stuff. Um, she's enjoying her stuff, and I'm still on um, a little break. I'm just um, done a few things. Uh, I'm just trying to take care of some personal matters, personal issues, um, and then hopefully within the next couple months, I'm gonna go back swinging, you know, just full-blown into it. I just had some stuff to take care of. Um, Nicole has visited some great places with Carrie lately, and I love looking at the pictures. I just um, just need a little bit more time to deal with this stuff than I've been dealing with. So, uh, we all, like I said, we all went to Cabin on 360 in November, and it was a great time. Swinging, you know me. I can swing hard. How you doing, Darren? Darren's asking if everybody's doing okay. Um, I know. I I heard um John, what's his name? John. Um, you know, just a swing and what's his name? He's probably dead by now, but something front porch, just a swing in when he said that. Don't make me sing, guys. You do not want to hear me sing. Um. So, I'm hoping get a few more questions, and then I'll probably wrap this up real quick here because, let's face it, nobody wants to hear me. Now that's good, Darren. Darren's such a big help to everybody. He really is. <coughs> Darren is a great person. Um, all the questions I got are about paranormal TV and I can't really answer them um, I like the old ghost hunters I like the new ghost hunters because that's the only one I've seen again I don't get the travel channel I do get a &E. so um, and even the channels I do get I don't have much time I really don't have time to watch it no, Darren, I do not have a fire stick. I don't even honestly know what a fire stick is. I think it's like a, a, a like one of those 
things you plug in that you get extra channels or something, but um, I think looks like a USB drive or something. But had a Roku, almost the same thing I think. Uh, Kate took it to college, so but I don't have enough time to watch it. The Netflix and the Amazon Prime and the cable I do have, so no more new devices for me. Amazon but what does alright I don't even know what I would need a fire stick for Darren saying I should get a fire a fire stick he could help me with it but I don't even know what I would need it for I have like three different Amazon Primes I have Matt's Amazon Prime I have Kate's Amazon Prime I have mine I think I canceled mine because I have everybody else's. Um, I sold somebody else's too, but that's okay. <coughs> so not really sure. I thought it was like the Roku. Message you. All right, thanks, Darren. <coughs> Here we go. I'm gonna have a cough and fit. At least my fever broke tonight, so that's good. Um, Darren, you invent a time machine. Here's the deal. D Darren, you invent a time machine that makes me have more time in my life because I already sleep like two, three hours a night at the most. At the most, literally, um, to get all this stuff done. You invent that time machine so I have extra time and not be more tired, and I will get the fire stick and then. I'll watch whatever you want me to watch. He's laughing, but that's that's the truth. If I sleep if I sleep four or five hours a night, I'm like in heaven. I'm like, oh my God, praise the Lord. Oh yeah, don't talk about God on the paranormal show. Holy crap, we don't want that. All right, Darren, come on. Any more questions? Because we got eight minutes left of the show. I know I'm giving you guys a hard time, but I do appreciate everybody coming. I truly do. You can help me save money after I spend money. Darren said in the chat, he can help me save money. You can help me save money after spending money on buying this stick thing. If I'm going to spend money on a stick, it's going to be a different kind of stick. Oh, not funny? This is marked explicit. Sorry. Nobody's listening anyways, except for the six people in chat, which I do appreciate. I love you guys. Um, but that is my whole thing. Um, again, I'll have the bloopers put up on uh, YouTube. I just shared a cabin. Bow, wait a minute. Ball chick. Wow, wow. Did I say it right, Matt? That's what he just put in chat. Um I put up a quick tour on Cis Paranormal of the cabin on 360 in the building next to it. Um, very quick. Um, with my theme music, which does not compare to Matt's new theme music. I can't even say the words. Me. I can't even say the words in this theme song that Matt sent me. His definitely beats me, but i use that theme song that i put in the cabin on 360 on cis paranormal by the way it's cis paranormal supernatural investigation services on facebook um so and i have the blooper half done that will be on shay's paranormal chat and then i share it to uh cis paranormal youtube and eventually i probably share it to paranormal buzz too because it was a joint adventure so Question from Darren. What locations are you looking forward to going to? Um, I'm looking forward to going to... Um, I really want to get to Hinsdale House sometime this year. Um, that would be an awesome dream come true. Um, I love Dan. Even though he was on my show, I gave him a hard time and had fun and teased him. But um, love Dan. 
anywhere in Iowa. See all my peeps. Um, looking forward to going back to um, Gettys Gettysburg this summer. Can't wait for that. Um, and there's a few other locations that want to check out, but not really sure when. Um, and nobody would probably know them. I like littler, smaller locations. Um, my sister's checked out a couple lately. Um, any new devices? Darren's asking. No. Um, again, I've been on hiatus. So no, I don't have too many devices. Um, my sister has a crap load. She's got something new too, and I can't even remember what it is, to be honest. Um, I like simple things, and she has everything, so I don't need anything. Seriously, if, you know, if there's something newish out there, she gets it, so. Um, what's the one object you wouldn't want to be haunted? All right, uh, give me a second, because I want to think of a new answer. Every time you ask me live on air, I want to come up with a new answer. Um, what is the one object you would never want to be haunted? We just said, talked about this on the pre-recording. Like, we ask other guests, and we're like, oh, I have a great answer, great answer, great answer. The, the, the recording hasn't been released yet, but it will be soon. Uh, Valentine's Day is when it's going to be released. But then you ask, you get asked it, and you can't come up with an answer. All right, I don't even know what that says. Hold on, i got to open up my phone, man. I can't read the... I'm still having side effects from my migraine. Uh, just got our Polter Calm Pico today. I've never even heard of that. Um... One object I wouldn't want haunted. Oh, Jesus, I should know this. Matt, what is that while I'm thinking? I would say computer, my phone. Oh, I... No, no, no. You want to be haunted? Oh, what objects would I want to be haunted? Um, Matt, is, is a person an object? I would love for Matt to be haunted for like... 10 minutes so I could throw holy water at him and the power of Christ compels you and slap him on the head. Is that an answer? Does that count? Because everything else I'm thinking of is very, very bad. Very bad. That would be fun. Yeah, Matt, you're haunted in a different way. You really, really are. You're haunted in a different way. Um, so, Darren agrees with me, yep. Or he's agreeing with Matt that Matt's already haunted. Um, I don't know. I've heard so many good answers and I try not to repeat them. But what I want to be haunted... See, that's how bad my eyes are. I thought that said, I thought Matt said I blame Sedan. And I'm like, who's Sedan? It says Satan. Yes, I know. I heard, I was, I was, yeah. That was on Kelly's show. Um, that Kelly abruptly got kicked off of and I got to close out, which was always great. I love talking to Fred. Um, I would love my, my, my Bud Light to be haunted if it kicked in quicker. It would save some money. Yeah. I don't know. Because I don't really want anything haunted in my life. Everything goes wrong as it is. Not everything, but you know what I mean. I I agreed. I agree, Fred. When um When you said that on air, I'm like... That is, do you hear me? I snapped, ready? That is a better question. Like, oh, yeah, a little extra spirit. There you go, Matt, you got it. I almost slipped and I, I, yeah. I, I don't want to, I, my snapping. 
Here we go. Um. Anyways, so I'm trying to ignore chat right now. So I'll go back over my schedule since I am probably very boring. Uh, uh, February 7th, we have Reiki. We're going to go over Reiki. Talk about Reiki. Uh, Rhonda Hart is going to come on and dumb it down for me and explain it to me. February 14th, the worst day of the year, um, is a pre-recorded show because I take that day off. Uh, it's going to be a pre-recorded show that I already edited. It's already scheduled. I think it did a pretty good job. You can't even tell that it's edited. Uh, February 21st. We have Rebecca Williamson from the Cambry House and Farm. If anybody does not know by now, we're going to do another Ghost Hunting 101. Um, February 28th, I can't remember the author's name, AC something. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me because I only wrote Vampires just to remind myself on the calendar. Um, and in March, we have David Glidden with his partner and uh, Denise Pridemore coming up. So, woohoo! And there's going to be a, um, a Q&A with Kelly and I in March and another pre-recorded show, I believe. Yeah, Darren, you know who it is. You know who Rebecca is. Funny, funny. So, all right, if there's no more questions, I'm trying to buy Darren a little time here. Um, if there's no more questions, I am going to close this up soon because, again, I don't feel good. If you can't tell, I'm losing my voice or because I'm not drinking, not sure which. Could be both. But, and let's see. Oh, you can tell I'm stalling. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I gotta go back to January. No, I don't. Hold on, no, I gotta go back to February. Um, February 2nd, we have Madison Smith with Spoopy Talk. Um, Monday, February 3rd, we have The Dr. Gina Show. February 4th, into the, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, start over. Sunday. We have Spoopy Talk at 6 p.m. Eastern, and we have Phantom Science at 8 p.m. Eastern. And then Monday, we have the Dr. Gina Show at 9 p.m. Eastern. Into the Pit on Tuesday, um, 8 p.m. Eastern. Wednesday is um, no Kelly. Wednesday, Wednesday the 5th, Kelly's off. We have... Um, Cauldron Talk with Casey um, Colburn, and that one is at 6 p.m. Eastern, and sorry, I'm trying to remember. I don't have it written down. Thursday, the 6th is REP Paranormal, and then again, Friday, me. Um, the good news is, is Kelly is back for the whole month of February and the whole month of March, so I have Kelly for the whole two months. I don't know what they're talking about in chat, but Fred has an, an announcement coming up real soon. A big, big announcement. Fred, where can they find that announcement? Would it be on Spirit Recon or would it be on the podcast um, network page or both? So... Um, I, I, I think I just forgot a show. If I did, guys, please forgive me. Mm. I think I got it. Um, yeah, the, the pre-recorded shows with Kay does... Kay and um, um, Kay, Cauldron Talk with Casey... Um, Cauldron and um, Phantom Science, they do have a small chat, just like um, uh, Seeking the Paranormal has a small chat. K's is a little bit. Um, John's tends to be a little bit more. It's new. Um, it's not quite the same as live shows, but
but yeah, ju jump in and say hi in the chat. Let everybody know you're listening. Yeah, Kay is always in chat. John's usually always in chat. Can't promise he always will be. And somebody from Seeking the Paranormal almost always pops in. Matt and I, um, this Matt or I are usually in every pre-recorded show. Not always both of us. He's in more of them than me because I have to run the live ones. So um, I take off nights when I can and I switch them up. So that's that's how I do it because I can't do. 14 shows a week, so, yeah, I barely do the, the, the 10 I do, or whatever it is, I don't know, sometimes it feels like a lot more, and I'm losing my voice again, so, all right, Fred, what, what network, where's that announcement coming, I forget the network, I just liked the, the post not too long ago, and I still can't remember, So, as soon as he puts that in there, I'm going to finish this up. Woohoo! Matt's celebrating. Matt's saying woohoo because I just said I'm going to finish this up. Matt's like, yes, I can go to bed. I don't have to listen to her mouth anymore. <laughs> uh, no, thank you guys for being in here with me. I hate going live alone. Because that's the only time I worry about what I'm going to say. If somebody else is with me, then they kind of interrupt when I need to be shut up. But all right, I think I think Fred left the chat, so I will share that information on Paranormal Buzz. And if anybody doesn't know by now, which I'm sure there's some people, um, my main account is in Facebook Jail. Yes. And we tried to start a GoFundMe, but um, they said the amount of bail was going to be way out of reach. So poor Shay is in jail. Um, and I don't know if I'm getting that account back. So I do have a public account. It's Sherry Carroll. Um, and I'm only accepting certain people right now as friends only because... Um, I don't want to lose this account, so I'm taking it really slow. But it is public, so you can see all the shows, you can see all that. So um, I'm trying to make sure I'm friends with um, all the hosts and the upcoming guests that I have on, and guests that I have on a lot. Um, that way I can message them through Messenger. Because I also recently changed my phone number and didn't tell people on Messenger, on my main account, that I changed my phone number. So. Now they can't get me through my phone number. They can't get me through Messenger. So it's a big mess. So, squirrel. Well, it was important squirreling, Matt. Send your... Matt says send your... Matt... Oh, Matt, that's so sweet. Matt Waddell is saying send my hate mail to him on Facebook. Oh, thank you, Matt. Which is exactly why my other account got taken away because... I guess you're not supposed to say bad things about orbs, according to Matt. So, thank you, Matt. Taking one for the team. Yeah, it's Matt Waddell on Facebook. Feel free. Send him the hate mail. Send him the bomb threats because, you know, I haven't got one in a couple months, so I'm due. So send it to Matt. He'll be glad to accept it for you. Um, all right, guys. I am going to let you go. I'm going to... He, Matt says he would love it. He would love it. He'd be posting it all over the place. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you for putting up with my rambling. But I um, had to cancel a few other shows, and I didn't want to cancel this one, so I just at least wanted to come on and say hi. And I'm actually on 10 minutes longer than I thought. Um... Oh, Darren is on Raven Rose tonight. He's co-hosting tonight. Um, so check them out on, on Facebook. Um, I, I think it's 9 Eastern, 8 Central, or 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central. Not really sure. Um... No, that's their that's their Thursday show. That's not eight eight thirty. 
As soon as this one's over, it's pretty close to starting on that one, so um, I probably won't pop in tonight. I'm going to lay down. But tell everybody I said hello. I miss everybody. Um, just busy. Oh, see, that's why. T it's n 10 Eastern, 9 Central. All right, we got it. So everybody go say hi to Darren on Raven Rose. Tell him Shay said hi and blow him lots of kisses in there. He loves it. All right, guys, until next week, have a great weekend, and I will see you next Friday.